Yeah, hey, and thanks so much for having me. Uh, look, I think the, the volatile uh, movement in the aftermarket is really a function of there's a lot of his stuff here to like, and there's a lot of stuff that I think people can pick on, right? Uh, Zoom is never going to put up those world-beating quarters like they did last year during the heights of the pandemic. But overall, looking at the numbers, not as bad as feared. Uh, the, the consumer and, and prosumer base doesn't seem to be churning off as fast as people are worried. So I'm, I'm net, net inclined to look at this pretty positively. What, what we mentioned, we teased before the break, what you wanted to hear out of the call, uh, most importantly. How much, what, what will your ears be pinned to? Uh, yeah, look, I want to hear about, uh, you know, how, how the kind of post-pandemic future looks like for them. Uh, what trends are they seeing at the kind of consumer and prosumer level? And then incremental commentary around some of their additional non-video growth drivers, namely Zoom phone. And we are already seeing that, right, in, in, in the uh, materials they've already uploaded. Uh, they're adding seats, you know, uh, uh, 10K plus seats. Uh, they saw triple digit uh, growth in Zoom phone revenue. So I think all the commentary on Zoom phone for me was very positive. You have one of the highest price targets on the street on this name, $450, which is way above where the stock is right now. How do you... How, how does the tide turn? This, this feels like a Peloton story where people have just decided it was as good as it gets and the, the future is going to look a lot different. Yeah, I, I think it's it's fair. I think, look, with Peloton, gyms are back and people are going to the gym. Uh, with with, with uh, Zoom, the way we work has been irreversibly changed, right? We're not going back into the office five days a week, 40, 60 hours a week. We are going to be relying on video conferencing that works, that is scalable, that is reliable. And so I think Zoom is here to stay. And I think more importantly, Zoom has the ability to become a much broader enterprise communication and collaboration platform as they get into telephony with Zoom phone, as they get into chat, as they get into uh, contact center, as they get into you know, events management. And so I think there is a long, great future for Zoom to become a big platform on its own. In their release, they talk about some of the innovations they showcased at Zoomtopia, quote, as some companies test return to office programs. I wonder, given the product offerings they have at this point, is return to office at scale something they are dreading or welcoming or somewhere in between? Yeah, it, it's, it's a good question. I could see it cutting both ways, right? You know, usage is going to go down. This is not a usage-based model. But I also think as the offices, uh, you know, return, and, and I think that's going to happen, you know, maybe Q1, Q2 next year, I think that accelerates the rate of replacement for legacy video conferencing solutions. Because I make the case and, and always have that hybrid work is a harder problem to solve than everyone being fully remote. And when you have things like half your team, you know, in the office and then half the team distributed, uh, that, I think, increases the value proposition for Zoom over legacy competitors and even over Microsoft. So I do think net net the return to office over the next year is actually going to be a positive for Zoom. Crazy market move here after hours. Rishi, thanks for being with us.